delay. We are looking today at just a little EDC issue, just something that's coming back to me because this has happened to me several times now. So it's not really just the nature of the problem isn't just my one sample. It's getting towards being like a provable, repeatable issue. So this is the Gerber Center Drive Multiplier. This is a good multiplier. It's a good multi-tool. It's designed very well. It's Gerber's um, sort of, I would say, entry into the Leatherman level of multi-tools. It's kind of the standard which all others are compared against. Some are even a bit nicer. I would argue the Swiss tools from Victorinox are even a little bit nicer. Not better, but nicer than the Leathermans. It's moving past that level of kind of boring kind of hardware store um, multi tool multiplier towards something that's actually nice. And this is a nice tool that is quite rugged and quite well done in all but one way. So in terms of tool sets, got a good long arm driver. The reason it's out here and I'm thinking about doing this video is because I was just using this long arm driver. Fits whatever drivers you want in there, it's magnetic. I was using my number 12 Torx to take apart my cold steel SR1 just now. So very, very handy. It locks, the knife locks as well. It's a durable tool and it's a good tool to have up a ladder because it's relatively one hand operable. It's good, it's a good tool. Inside the handle, there's a few like interesting and I would say pretty valid choices for multi-tool extras. So you've got a serrated blade for you know quick drywall or something like that. You've got a file, somewhat handy. You've got a pry and a bottle opener. The pry is a really good tool, I use that often. And then you've got this little scraper blade or all it's a sharp little piece of steel used for a lot of different things. I love that they haven't gone and chucked a bunch of superfluous drivers on it. Overall, it's a relatively pure design and relatively, um, yeah, it's got a clean purpose and it does it quite well. The plier head itself, it's robust, it has good needle nose pliers, it's got good knurling, you can turn nuts. You can do most things with this plier head as well. The issue here is these replaceable jaws. So today, for the third time, these jaws have failed. So <laughs> straight after I was doing my SR1 review, this was on the table, and so was this. Ada, it's been a bit windy today. Ada is pecking at a piece of the fence that she knows she can get out of if she works on it. Huskies will escape during storms, uh, and the, my husky will. She gets freaked out and she just wants to run, all right? So I went and I had to do some wiring up and some sort of jigging with the fence. You do that a bit as a husky owner, it's part of the story. For the third time, just cutting basic wire, my second set of replaced jaws failed on wire. So the first time I was at work and I had to cut a farm fence with one of these uh, and they failed. And the Juice CS4 plier head did the job, whereas these tungsten carbides failed and just flaked away. The second time, I was cutting again, fencing wire in the same spot, and between all these there was you know, a replacement and then several cuts, I guess. Uh, it's a pr relatively commonly used part of these tools for me. And then eventually, failed again, just flaked away, T too many uses, it, but not like, I'm not talking about hundreds of uses even, I'm talking under 20 uses. And so I've replaced them again. I actually had this tool just sort of, it's actually sat out a bit. Um, in the weather, it's you know, this is a tool that gets kind of used and abused like I think it's designed to be So I'm certainly not babying it. So I guess there's that but the thing is I'm cutting wire that you should be able to cut with a multi-tool The wire that I cut this time again failed this Pair of replaceable jaws. So they are once again nude the screw that holds them in sits there pristine It's just the tungsten carbide just shatters around them. I finished my cut with the closest tool my vice grips, this wire part here, which I know is like a torqued down, but it's just a tall steel head, you know? I am thinking that replaceable wire cutters, and I've said this before, but I don't think that they are particularly good for the user. I think they're great for the companies because the companies can sell what would have once been a warranted part. Can sell them so you don't have to then send the whole tool back because often these multi-tool companies have great warranties. You know, you break the tool, send it back. By releasing them in, you know, user pays replaceable bits, they have not only having to have whole tool steel heads that are also doing the wire cutting, they can now make it so when you break them, you replace them. 
Whereas if you were to replace, like if you were to break your old wave head, for example, they would have to just replace the whole head. But I never really saw that happening. And that being said, I don't have any the, the same issues with the new Leatherman jaws either. So I think it just is the stuff that Gerber uses. But just as a larger issue, it's always sold as like, a, and I remember being excited, oh, finally replaceable wire cutting heads. But then I thought, well, I've never had them fail when they were a one piece plier head either. So I know there was a batch of skeletals that did fail that were not treated correctly. But that was about the only other story I've really heard regularly or semi, you know, even more than once about failures in the one piece ply heads. And it's just since I've been using these, it was failed three times now. So I don't know. I just reckon that I would not be bothered at all if the companies went back to one piece, non replaceable cutters and just use their warranty service for the very rare instance that they broke. Again, Tim Leatherman used to do the nail test with the old Leathermans, like the PSTs and the first generation waves, where he literally put the pliers on a showroom floor, put a nail, not even a piece of wire, a nail on the wire cutters, stomp on it and cut the nail. And he did that with confidence. And I just don't think I would certainly not do that with confidence with these, and maybe not even with a modern Leatherman with the replaceable jaws. Because, yeah, kind of sucks that the user has to pay now. So anyway... Just a thought, a little EDC issue for you. You have a lovely day. The hat was a present from me. And probably don't buy these. It sucks because I like everything else about it, but that's a tool that I use a whole bunch. And it's a shame. Hopefully it causes you to die. Anyway guys, I'll see you later.